Megan abandoned Harry to find a better match. The yacht girl used the same dirty trick again. Hello and a very warm welcome to our Kate Middleton and the Queen News YouTube channel. While multiple sources are reporting that Meghan is planning a new scheme to get rid of Harry, and who is next on her list? Well, apparently her sights are set on Gordon Getty. Now, he was born in 1933, he's a native of San Francisco, and he is the son of oil tycoon John Paul Getty. He's got a personal fortune worth nearly $3 billion, and apparently Meghan has been seen making more than one visit to his rooms at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and that's happened over the course of just the past few months. Rumor has it Meghan Markle is up to her old tricks again, and she is focused on this elderly billionaire. Now, Gordon Getty lost his wife of almost 60 years and Getty back in 2020, and I'm sure he's charmed by Meghan's newfound interest in him. She is good at turning on the charm when she wants to. Now, Gordon Getty is an heir to the infamous Getty Billions. He is worth a lot of money. At one point, his father was one of the wealthiest men in the entire world. And even though he's a billionaire in his own right, all that money didn't just come from him writing classical music. But people have spotted Meghan Markle with Mr. Getty. Apparently, she's been going to see him at the Beverly Hills Hotel. So why exactly is she spending so much time with him? Well, I think there can only be one reason. Meghan Markle is looking to strike big. She wants to be rich. Now, I wouldn't put it past her. Meghan Markle would do anything to make a quick buck. But still, going after this elderly gentleman is horrible. Now, according to some sources, she's putting pressure on him to buy her a home. Now, apparently, she's trying to claim that she doesn't feel safe because Harry bragged about killing over two dozen Taliban soldiers in that wine fest memoir he called Spare. So it looks like Meghan's paranoia is at an all-time high, and both of them are watching their backs. They're complaining about their loss of taxpayer-funded security that Harry considers to be his God-given right. One or maybe 200 million of Getty's billions would sure be convenient for Meghan Markle to have about right now. I understand it's difficult to be a mere multimillionaire when you want to live a billionaire's lifestyle. And some people are wondering if Harry is in on this arrangement. I mean, is Harry trying to pimp out his own wife to go after this wealthy, aging heir? Now, of course, Meghan and Harry don't mind asking for handouts, but still, to go after this nearly 90-year-old man to get themselves some money, that's low even for them. Now, Getty has six daughters. Uh, he had three with his late wife, Anne, and then he had three with his longtime mistress, Cynthia Beck. He only had one son, Andrew, and he passed away in 2015. Now, he was 47 years old, and we don't know exactly what caused his death. Anyway, though, he was reclusive, and he had a very sketchy girlfriend, too, named Lanessa. So apparently, two weeks before he passed away, he had taken out a restraining order on this girlfriend, but she was the one who found his body. Now, the autopsy proved that there was methamphetamine in his system when he passed, which ultimately was declared accidental, but who knows? Of course, I don't know any of Getty's daughters, but still, I'm sure they're not very happy about him being under Megan's spell. Maybe they can all get together and talk some sense into him. He needs protection from Megan, though, that's for sure. I mean, I don't know what his mind is like, but it's probably not as sharp as it used to be. And I am afraid that he may fall directly into Megan's trap if he hasn't been captured already. If they can't do something to talk some sense into him, I'm afraid the next thing they know, he's going to be writing out checks to pay for Meghan and Harry's ridiculous expenses. And I also heard a rumor that Meghan has been on the hunt. She's wanting to buy her own private jet. I guess she's getting sick of always having to borrow jets from her friends. Or maybe it's that she doesn't have any friends who are willing to loan out their private jets anymore. Uh, the thing about it is, if they don't put a stop to Meghan, she is going to take Gordon Getty for all he's worth. When she wants to, she can really turn on the charm. So I just hope that his family is looking out for him. I can tell you one thing for sure. Meg is not going over to his hotel room just because she wants to keep this elderly man company. Absolutely not. There is something that he has that she wants, and I'm sure it has something to do with money. Meghan Markle is a predator. She knows who to pick. She knows who she can use. Now, the fact that she has been visiting him in his hotel office, the friendship between them has to be progressing. I mean, I would guess she has some kind of cover story as to why she's going over there, but I don't know what in the world it could be.
So apparently, when it comes to California politics, Gordon Getty is a pretty important person. He has connections to Gavin Newsom because he was really good friends with Gavin Newsom's father when they were growing up. They apparently went to the same San Francisco private school when they were boys. But Gavin Newsom's father isn't alive any longer, and Gordon Getty isn't especially close to Gavin Newsom. It doesn't seem like he's much into politics outwardly. I mean, the family has supported candidates such as Newsom in the past, but other California families have contributed a lot more money than the Gettys ever have. Notably, the Getty family have been a lot more interested in philanthropic endeavors involving music and the arts, and that's what Gordon Getty has mostly been involved with over the years. So if Megan is just trying to get herself some political funding, why would she have to go visit somebody like Gordon Getty over and over again? Why would she remain in L.A. overnight at the same hotel as him if she only wanted help to finance an entry into politics, especially considering he's actually not that big of a player in Californian politics? These meetings would not necessitate constant visits over the course of the last four or five months with overnight stays. Come on. I'm not really sure that their behavior suggests that it's limited to only that. And apparently his daughters are very worried about the situation with their father. And I don't think they would be so concerned if he were only trying to help Megan get into politics. It's not like he's only met with her on one or two occasions. This has been an ongoing relationship behind closed doors for months, with only the two of them there. Apparently Megan even stays at the same hotel overnight. Although apparently she does get her own room, but I think that's just for appearances sake. And I would never underestimate Megan's powers of manipulation and persuasion, especially when it involves a vulnerable 89-year-old man. He recently lost his wife, so it's not like he's been in the dating game this whole time. I mean, it could be that he does not see her for the gold digger she really is. And also, I'm sure he's lonely. I mean, he's all by himself for the first time in almost 60 years. Now, the thing is, women who are not necessarily the most beautiful women, who are not very wealthy, and who are not so influential, they have still been very successful by manipulating elderly, wealthy single men. So it's possible Megan is working her magic on him until she's got him where she wants him. She really is a professional con artist. But see, the Getty family is very powerful. If Getty's daughters wanted to make Megan disappear forever, they could make that happen. So why don't they do it? Apparently, this has been going on ever since fall. We even heard about it back then, but at the time, the name of the man who she was going to see hadn't been disclosed yet. Now, at the time, it was another publicist who leaked the gossip, but they refused to name names. And apparently his daughters are not happy about this situation at all. I do hope they can do something to protect their father. But unfortunately, I have seen situations like this before, where children didn't have any control over their elderly fathers when they were wasting a lot of money on hustlers. I do hope this is not going to be the situation with Megan. And now that everybody knows what's going on, now that the people are aware of this, I do hope it's going to make things more difficult for her. If not, I don't think they're going to have any trouble whatsoever in giving Megan a dose of her own medicine and take her to court. I would love to see that happen, actually, because it would show exactly what Megan is about once and for all. And you, what do you think about this relationship between Megan and Gordon Getty? Let us know your opinion below in the comments section, and we can also discuss the two of them together. If you think my video is useful, please remember to like and share with anyone else who loves it anytime you want. And don't be afraid to subscribe to Kate Middleton and the Queen News channel to get more updates from our team. Now, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lovely day, and I'll be back to see you in the next videos.